Good morning, everybody. Great morning it is. It's morning manna, time for morning manna. So thankful and grateful to give you, to be, uh, to have an opportunity to be with you and to give you the word of God and to plant the manna into your life. And uh, I'm going to give uh, Facebook Live a couple of seconds to pull our audience together. And uh, while we're doing that, I want to ask this question. I want to ask this question. Doesn't everybody want the perfect fit? Everybody wants the perfect fit. You want to look your best. How many of you want to really look your best? Okay, we're, we're going to give you a chance to answer that question while um, uh, Facebook Live kind of gets our audience together. It's always the text to talk and the takeaway. And uh, got a word for you on this morning. Share the manna. Share the manna. Want the word to get out on this morning and uh, to plant the manna as, as far as we possibly can. And uh, just want to raise this question this morning. Don't you want to look your best? The perfect fit. This is the time of the year when it's prom time, when it's graduation time, when it's, hey, I just want the right fit to wear to work. I want the right fit to go out on a date. I want the right fit to do whatever I'm going to do. I just want the perfect fit. Here's the text. Here's the text. Then we're going to give you the talk. It's going to be the takeaway. It's Zechariah 3, 4 through 5. Zechariah 3, 4 through 5. Listen closely. Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes. The angel said, Take off those filthy clothes, put rich garments on him, and I will put my garments on him. Here is, here is Zechariah talking about what is going on. It's symbolizing through the person of Joshua, what the people of Israel look like, and they are filthy. And God says this, God says this, he says, look, take those garments off, put my garments on them, because I have the perfect fit. Here's the three things, here's the three things that I'd like to share with you. Here's the talk from the text. The first thing is this, the Lord always has the perfect fit for your sin. The perfect fit for your sin, no matter the sin, no matter the issue, no matter the struggle of sin that you're dealing with, no matter whatever it is, the Lord has the perfect fit. What's the fit? It's his grace. It's his grace. His grace is sufficient to fit every sin that you may be dealing with and every temptation that you're struggling with. Here's the second thing. The second thing is, the Lord has the perfect fit for your troubles and your struggles. You're going through some things. You're having some problems, some struggles and some trouble. It, it's just like you cannot get ahead. You've been set back and you're trying to bounce back. The Lord has the perfect fit. What's the perfect fit? His power. The power of the Holy Spirit that he breathes into your life is the perfect fit for you to get through your troubles and your struggles. What's the third thing? Here's the third thing I want to share with you in the talk from our text. The Lord has the perfect fit for your success. Whatever it is that you think you're not going to accomplish, he says, I make you, here's the fit, he makes you the head and not the tail. He puts you at the front of the line and not the back of the line. He says that, he says, this is about, I give you the power to get wealth. I, I make you the lender and not the borrower. He has the perfect fit for your success, the perfect fit for your struggles and your troubles, and he has the perfect fit for the sin that you may be going through, the grace and the salvation that he has for you. What's your takeaway this morning? Here's the takeaway. You need to enter into the dressing room of God and know that God looks good on you. Go into the dressing room of the Lord today before you go out into work today, before you go on any date today, whatever you're trying to get the perfect fit and wondering how you look, go into his dressing room. And when you come out, you know that God looks good on you because he is the perfect fit for you. May the Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace today as you know that the Lord has the perfect fit. God bless you. Share the manna. See you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. Bye now.